it's a family thing. But right, today we're going to do the um, sci-fi block, if you can't see. And um, show them what happened last have night. Have you seen anything different on me? Well, if you haven't, look at that. I lost a tooth yesterday. So I got $20 back. I, the tooth fairy has some talking to. If I can open it up. Ah. Oh wow. Okay, if you open it up, you'll see this. Okay, so let's set this right here. First thing up is going to be a. Let's not goes start breaking stuff. Well, yeah, like the horror box. That was sad. Okay, so here's the lid. You can see, but. Okay. It doesn't come with a straw? No. No, I guess you add your own straw. Yeah, but it's a police box or a TARDIS from Doctor Who franchise. I used to watch it. You used to they give you, but I guess. Tell us down in the comments. Oh, is it? No. Oh, that's a piece of the bag. Okay, but tell us down in the comments. What if you, you got a straw? <laughs> no. Well, oh. yeah, but. You can add your own straw. Yeah. And tell us in the comments it, what your favorite Doctor Who is. I forgot mine, but it's like his hair is like super nice. I love the hair too. Alright, one okay. down. Next thing up is my mom loves this, uh, this guy. And it's I do. Gardens of the Galaxy Pop Keychain Garouk. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? We got to watch it. It's a really good movie. So now we have four keychains. We mm -hmm. have the Groot. We have. Um, okay, here. You want to show them your keychains? Yeah. But one of the keychains, however, is my favorite doctor. My favorite doctor is the 11th one. My favorite is the 11th doctor. If you can. I'm going to show you Groot real quick. Okay. Oh, so cute. But this is my favorite Doctor Who character, or Doctor, which I should say. It's the 11th Doctor. What other ones do you have? Okay, next thing up is the Adventure Time Finn. He got that for... Geek Fuel, I think. No, not Finn. Oh, yeah. Your birth was it your birthday? Yeah, maybe. Birthday or Christmas? I think my birthday one was a, uh, like, a big one. But, and then we have the exclusive horror box block, Daryl. Daryl Dixon. So we'll keep this one here. Okay. And put these back. Okay, but, yeah. But tell us down below, in the comments, as I just said, what your favorite Doctor Who character was. I like the 11th. House. I like the older man and I can't remember his name. I bet you it's want me to have to like the first when I was a kid. character. The first doctor. One of you do. I, uh, I don't really watch it though. I'm stomping around. Okay. Oh, oh! I found it. I found the straw. Yay. You know how that goes, right? Yeah, that's what I do. At least I think I do. You no, know, this has to go inside so it doesn't. Oh yeah. Come out. No one wants the straw to come out. Okay. Okay, we have to. Do now, is there a thing in these uh, to tell me what's in the box? I think there is, but it's like really down the box, like at the bottom bottom. It's just really... Okay, I'll just tell you about the shirt while she's doing that. Because you have to get the shirt to do something else. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So, this is really cool. It's a Terminator one, and it's a rock and sock em. I really want to get one of those. Oh, it's here today. It's a, Mom, it's a Rock'em Sock'em Terminator. Oh, the, <clears throat> that's so retro. <laughs> I remember the Rock'em Sock'em things when I, I was a kid. Too. What did you know about Rock'em Sock'em? Toy Story and eBay and YouTube. Oh. 
couple other reasons why. Like, I've seen them in stores. I'm not kidding. This is to let us know that the sci-fi block for April is going to bring you some stuff from Star Wars. Star Wars. And you can also expect some more stuff from Doctor Who, Firefly, and what's the bottom one? Because you moved it. E.T. E.T. Oh, E.T. Okay, e. don't go on yet. Hold, hold. Let's fold up your shirt. Don't ask me why I know. Um, okay, so the shirts. One sec. Or, no, it doesn't have the shirt. So here's the shirt. It doesn't say the shirt. That's over here. Oh. oh. Terminator 2 Judgment Day taught us, taught us what happens when Terminators face off together against one another. <clears throat> um, but what if there was a slightly less violent, almost comical way for them to settle their differences? Check out shirtpunch.com for more great pop culture trees. I want to go to Shirt Punch really badly. And what? I think what? Um, I want to go to or um, I want to see like the I don't have to go inside. It'd really be cool to go inside. But, well, I live really close to where uh, um, the Geek Hill headquarters is, is in. It's in another, it's in the great capital city. But um, I really want to see it really badly. I don't really care if I have to, I can't go inside. Just be really close. But we're not in Geek Hill, we're doing sci-fi blog. Oh yeah, the Geek Hill. <laughs> Just a sci fly block. Sci fly so, fly? So, I just wanted to tell you from that. Well, Geek Field is actually out of Denver, if I remember right. Yes, in Denver. He met the man who does the. Yes. And he's a fan of ours. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, I. <clears throat> that does the shirt. Um, so, I want to see the other team. Let these guardians of the galaxy become the new guardians of your keys. Excuse me. While hooked on a feeling that this will be hooked to your keys for a long time. We're giving you a character at random. So you'll either get Rocket, Groot, or Baby Groot. Oh, Baby Groot. And we got Groot. Groot. Did I think oh, Baby, Baby Groot would have been cute too, huh? Uh-huh. Baby Groot's a... My favorite group, group version. Oh, wow! Next up is, I think I want to take this somewhere, but it's the police public call box. It's free for use of public. Advice and assistance obtainable immediately. Well, officers are hard to respond to all calls. Pull Imagine open. how people would be so envious of you if you showed up. Drinking out of this, and your lunch was in here. Yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. Is there anything in this? Uh, let's check. When you're traveling through all space and time, uh, you can you can work up quite the appetite. Luckily, you now have this great Doctor Who lunch tin and drinking cup as your newest companions. Much like the TARDIS, this lunchbox can get a hold, it can hold a lot more than you might think. Mm -hmm. Which drinking cup did you get? The TARDIS or the Weeping Angel? And we got the TARDIS. Yes, that'd be cool. I got the Weeping Angel. The Weeping Angel, Angel looks... Is angry. there anything in the box? I mean, it's over there. It doesn't say. Maybe. But it says it might hold more than you think. So why don't you... Go to the next item. Yeah, I'll see if I can get this open. Okay, this thing up is a multi pass. I don't think so. Insert color photo color. here. What? Oh, that's cool. And it says, like, West Park Alley. So wait, there it is. Oh, I do it. There's cards. There's cards. There is Top Trump's Heroes and Enemies Doctor Who. This is cool. If you don't know, I'll try this to get is... the glare off. This oh, is the Doctor Who I was referring to. <coughs> that I remember when I was a kid. There's a multi-pass. 
You're going on to something else. Hold on. I know. Let me put this back. This is, I wasn't expecting that. See, I read between the lines, so I knew that there had to have been something. Top Trump stories of Doctor Who. Cool. What is it? That's cool. We knew it. I wondered. All right, don't go on. Don't go on. Oh, yeah. So, the multi-pass is an exclusive. Um, if you ever find yourself in the future at or at a comic convention, you can use this multi-pass as your all-in-one identification, license, and payment card. We've included a do-it-yourself sticker for you to make this your own. That'd be cool if we did go to Comic-Con. So you insert your photo here, and then sign your name on the bottom. It's all pretend stuff, but that's pretty cool. Okay, next thing up is... That goes in there. The Let me see. It's a multi -pass. It must have came out. So you put your name, Why address... Why are they told You fill it out like a license. Why are there two of them? Because it's not the same. They're not the same. Oh, if you. Uh, so you might want to slip that oh, into the so bag. Oh, so like the original it. one, and this is like the one that you have, you can make. Oh, this That's is. Cool. Why is it separate? Yeah. I thought it came out of here, but it didn't. It's actually separate. Ain't that cool, guys? Hmm. Okay. The next thing up is the fifth element, the Corbin Dallas, a three three fourths inch fully possible well I don't know uh, what the fifth element is but there didn't you get something else from the fifth element not too long ago pop no I don't think it was pop you got another character like this not too long ago oh like that type of thing a little like. posable one um okay so the Corbin Dallas Lilo Lilu Mangalore, Ruby Rod, Zorg, another Lilu, and Diva Lavakuni, Guna, and Guna, I got Funko's line of reaction figures bring us the nostalgic feels like nothing else. They make us feel, make us, make us feel, um, like, pause that. I don't know what I'm saying. What the heck? Um, I got, I got something That's in my weird. eye. They make us feel like we've stepped into time machine to the 1980s and brought back. Oh yeah, it doesn't want to pause after that. Um, and brought back classic toys from futuristic tales, and then it asks, "Who did you get?" Not Ruby Rod. I mean, not Ruby Rod. He looks cool. Like, we got Corbin Dallas. Okay. And last but not least. Hopefully we think it's the last. Just kidding. We would go on and on and on and on. But it's a... Strangers. Are you ready to see this effortless? I oh, you got a song in my head now. I think it said Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. That looks a lot like Jenga Fett. Classic Boba Fett action figure print. Uh, pop artist extraordinaire Russ Moore has created some of the finest art prints, paying homage to the iconic action figures of yesteryear. This yesteryear. print, yesteryear, yesteryear, yesteryear. This print of the fantastic yesteryear. vision of Kenner's original Boba Fett figure, suitable for framing. Cool. So we will frame this, hopefully. Probably. Okay. Okay, so in our box. We have, okay, we forgot to do the shirt, but whatever, you know. We, we did do the shirt. Oh, you didn't put it on. Yeah, that's fine, though. Ain't it? So in the box is Boba Fett. Um, the, the two multi-passes. The multi-pass, I love it. I love saying that. And there's the um the fifth element. Wait, what is it? Yeah. That. 
Am I doing it? I'm trying to do something how it was when I first got it. But I'm not doing it right. Okay. And then we have the public there you go. public police books. Okay. Is there a place for the little group? Little group. Little group. So cute. No, we have two. Wow. <laughs> the that and then Can you see them. We have the card. And a calling and a shirt. And the shirt. So thank you for no, thank you for watching. Everybody take care. God bless. Have a good day or night. It's a family thing. Bye. Bye.